Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell. And it is Friday the 13th here at the NASDAQ market site. And we just had 10X Genomics open the market. And with me is the co-founder and CEO, Serge Saxonoff. Serge, welcome. Thank you. Exciting couple of days. It's been phenomenal. It, it has been phenomenal, so congratulations. And Serge, let's start just with some basics. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about what 10X Genomics does and kind of its mission? Sure, so our mission is to accelerate the mastery of biology to advance human health. Kind of the premise of the company is that this is really the century of biology. Some of the amazing, most amazing advances that we could imagine are going to be happening over the coming decades. Things like being able to cure cancer, address, inf address infectious diseases, figuring out Alzheimer's. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but over the coming decades, it's going to become possible. The key challenge is that we actually understand very little of the underlying biology, underlying science. And our mission, our goal is to build tools and technology to technologies to help scientists, researchers, biopharmaceutical companies to discover new things so that ultimately we can figure out all these cures. Large, large goals, which is, which is wonderful. Um, and, and as you think about the company and maybe some of your, your customer success stories, can you talk about, is it, is it too early to talk about customer success stories? Do you have something you can share? No, in fact, there are many and they're like, they're actually publicly available because our customers, many, most of our customers, in fact, in fact publish uh, scientific papers, their discoveries. And there's many, many examples to choose from. One of the ones that uh, we like to talk about, and it's been now about, uh, about a year ago, that there was a publication where researchers did a, an analysis, a survey of the human lung tissue, a uh, very basic kind of found the foundational scientific investigation, found lots of interesting uh, data, lots of insights, but one particularly unexpected thing was that there was a very rare cell type that no one had any idea existed. Turns out that cell type, so they discovered it, turns out that particular rare cell expresses a gene that's responsible for cystic fibrosis. A really common inherited disease, huge health burden, yeah. something that no one had any idea was going on, but totally changes our understanding of disease and points to new ways of treating it. Amazing, and, and to your point, there, there's obviously more. And um, one of the interesting things is, as you think about metrics to measure your performance and success, how do you, how do you as a company think about that? Yeah, I think for us, the most important metric is actually those publications that come out of our customers' labs. Because that goes back uh, to, to, this, to the fundamental idea, like what we're about. And it's to enable scientific discovery, to enable new knowledge to be formed. And that tends to be the, the best metric of doing that. Not the only metric, but by far. So there's over 500 of those publications now throughout the world. And 500? 500. <laughs> That's a lot of And we've only been- <laughs> And you're only scratching the surface. We're only scratching the surface. I mean, we are a fairly young company, yeah. just a really short time. All kinds of amazing research, fundamental discoveries that are being made by our customers all across the world. And, and then you, when you think about the future, I mean, what most excites you? I mean, are there any boundaries that uh, you, you, you see or? I mean, quite, quite honestly, not really. I, I mean, the way we ultimately measure, measure success in the long run is how close are we getting, we as meaning the world, is getting to curing cancer. How close are we getting to yeah. really curing diseases? And, uh, you know, as long as there's these kind, kinds of big fundamental health challenges out there in the world, we're going to keep working to address them. That, that's amazing. And, and let's switch gears a little bit. Yesterday, uh, you, you had your IPO price. And can you talk about a little personally and maybe for the company, what does the NASDAQ listing ultimately mean for the company? It's a huge milestone. I think for us, uh, it's really kind of, it's two things. First of all, it's the validation for all the work, all the hard work that has gone into making this company, all the employees and all our customers really, kind of especially early customers who got on board. And it's a testament to the execution of the company and what we've done so yeah. far. And that's, that's a really awesome, amazing thing to feel. And I think everyone, all the employees are feel really proud and our customers should also feel proud. Uh, and then also it lays the foundation now for the future. I think this really kind of, we feel like we reached the scale and there's lots and lots more to do. Really, this is just the first foundational step, I would say, to really realizing our ambitions going forward. So talk to me a little bit about the future. When you look out five, seven, 10 years, where do you see 10X Genomics? Well, really what our goal is to drive to, uh, to really widespread 
use of our technology, our tools, all around research, all around biopharmaceutical kind of usage uh, companies. Uh, ubiquity almost, you know, that's our goal. Maybe we're not going to be there five, seven years from now, but that's ultimately where our products become the, sort of the foundation, the layer that enables all this new science. Yeah. And, and one thing I'm always fascinated about, and, and Serge, I'd, I'd welcome your thoughts on this. You know, culture is so important in an organization, and, and we certainly have a unique culture here at NASDAQ. But can you share with, with the viewers, what is the culture like at, at the company? Yeah, that's, so that's a core element. Uh, it, you know, if anything makes the company, I always say, um, you know, when people ask, like, so what is the source of success? It yeah. really ultimately comes down to one thing, and that's people. Yeah. And it's having amazing people. It means smart people, super driven people, people who want to do great things for the world, people who want to do the right thing. And mission driven. Yeah, absolutely. Mission driven, doing the right thing always with, like, with, with a sense of urgency, because what we do is really important. Um, and that's, that, that, is a, that, that is probably the most crucial element combined with, uh, like with our company specifically. Uh, what made us successful is the ability to bring a lot of different disciplines together. Uh, hardware, software, biology, chemistry, and that orientation around working together in a collaborative fashion from multiple disciplines, everyone having mutual respect for each other is an absolute crux of our success. Well, that's wonderful. And you're, you're certainly off to a great start as a public company. And Serge, can we, uh, can we switch gears a little bit? I, I don't want to talk about 10X genomics, although oh, I, I oh do. No, okay, well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I figured let's have some fun and, and talk, let, let our viewers know a little bit about you. Um, so I assume you have an iPhone or an Android device? In fact, I do have an iPhone and my, yes, right here. In my and pocket. I'm not going to ask to see. I'm not going to make yeah, it disappear what, or anything like yeah, that. Sure. But when you think about it, what's your favorite app on that? Um, ah, that's an interesting question. Um, you know, I do check Twitter, I check my email, um, and Google Maps. I have no sense of direction, so. Have you tried Waze? I have tried Waze. It's a little bit uh, too gimmicky for me, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> but Google Maps is, is Google definitely Google Maps is a bother, is right? Core. Oh, yes, it's, it, it's, it's pretty core. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd be able to find my way around New York without it. I, I'm with you, and I I'm, grew up here. Um, so when, when you're not working, which I, I assume you're working a lot, yeah. but when you're not, where can we find you? Yeah, it's really hard to, like, for me, I have to think back, pretty far back. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I like, uh, you, uh, well, um, like reading, I like spending time in, with my family and, uh, you know, going out and to, we live in California, so there's a lot of beautiful nature all around us. Absolutely, and you're in a, a wonderful part of the, of the state. Yeah. Um, and then, last question, uh, as you think back on your career, is there anyone that gave you advice or motivated you or just something that kind of stuck in your mind that really helped you kind of, you know, become where, uh, CEO where you are today? Well, there was a few pivotal moments. I would say probably the first one that I like that had a really foundational sort of effect on me was in college. I remember it was a, actually an advisor of mine who happened to also have been an entrepreneur and started companies. And, uh, and it was advice, advice not directly to me, but generally to people. He was on a panel telling people that if you want to, um, if you want to become, start a, run a company or start a company, um, you can't really think about anything else. It has to be all encompassing. And that really, really resonated. Yeah. With me. Like that sense of mission, all encompassing mission, being driven to like really large goals. That's, um, that just resonated in a huge way. And that, I think that turned my mind toward that as a, uh, as, as what I want to do. That's wonderful. Well, Serge, thank you so much for sharing uh, some personal stories and certainly uh, some information about 10X Genomics and congratulations on the IPO. And uh, we look forward to celebrating many more milestones with you and having you back uh, to, to hear about the progress. And for all our viewers out there, happy Friday. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Behind the Bell. Thank you very much.